Hey guys, in this video we are going to see how to run t-test in SAS. So I have opened a SAS Enterprise Guide and I am going to do the t-test in uh, this dataset pull-ups. So what it actually has is the minutes I did pull-ups for 60 days and 2 stands for 2 minutes and 5 stands for 5 minutes and 0 is like I didn't do pull-ups on the on the particular date so now I have a um, problem that now I need to find out whether I have done at least 3 minutes for the past 2 months so what what does that mean so if, if I have to know that whether I have did 3 minutes for the past two months then it means the mean of the all the value should be equal to three so t-test does exactly that it helps us to find whether the mean is what we expect so there are uh, three things we can do one is we can find whether the mean is equal to our expected value in my case it's three minutes or uh, whether it's greater than three minutes or whether it's less than three minutes we can see how we, uh, we can do this in SAS using uh, SAS procedures so now let's move on to the hypothesis so first uh, I'm going to check whether I have done exactly three minutes so now, now my null hypothesis is let me take black color okay null hypothesis is equal to 3 and alternative hypothesis is not equal to 3 so for any hypothesis after I run this uh, t-test in SAS it will give me a p-value so p-value so that value should be greater than should be greater than alpha so alpha alpha is sorry greater than alpha so alpha is like uh, is a made up value usually it will be like 0 0.05 so what does it mean uh, it just means that uh, I'm I'm okay to make a uh, zero point like five percentage error so it's uh, in statistics we call it as type 1 error so for example uh, I have for uh, in this case if I have done three minutes for the past two months exactly three minutes for the past two months but the result shows that I didn't do uh, three minutes for past two months so it means I am making a mistake so that is the mistake level so I am ready to make five percentage mistake so this is a significant so this value is just made up uh, you don't need to enter in SAS tool or uh, it's it's just for your satisfaction we can say that it can be like 0 0.10 or 0 0.15 so but most of the uh, books related to statistics will have 0 0.05 so everybody is just follows the same it's really the amount of risk you are willing to take so I am just willing to take 5 percentage of the risk and let's do it in SAS so to find exactly my um, mean is equal to 3 minutes I am going to use the procedure called PROC univariate so data is a pull-ups it's in uh, work directory work library so we don't need to mention the library name and the variable is time and run so since my mean is I am expecting to be three I'm giving it as three so that's always that's the only thing you have to do and just run this so 
here if you see this is the output of proc univariate so just you can ignore this thing this and this just ignore these three tables they are just the uh, descriptive statistics of the particular data so we the main thing to focus here is test for location so it is testing that uh, whether my mean is at 3 so if you see here the students t statistics it can be negative or positive and but it should be nearer to 0 so it's not uh, it's not uh, nearer to 0 you can see that it's not nearer to 0 at all and 0 0.0002 it's lesser than 0 0.05 so what is that uh, what i have told here is p value should be greater than alpha so we will reject the null hypothesis so uh, our mean is not equal to 3 we can go with this alternate hypothesis now now i have to i will do another hypothesis in this hypothesis i say i am very confident that i have done greater than 3 minutes so the alternative will be exact opposite i haven't done greater than three that's less than three so in this case we have to use a different procedure um, the proc uh, univariate doesn't give option to test lesser than or greater than uh, we call it like a, a two-side ANOVA i guess two-way ANOVA it can't be done in proc univariate so i'm going to introduce you a new procedure proc t test in fact you can do all the uh, all the hypothesis in uh, proc t test but uh, i just wanted to show you uh, we can do the t test using proc univariate so whatever you can do in proc univariate you can do the same in proc t test so let me define the hypothesis so this is my hypothesis greater than three and null, uh, null hypothesis is greater than 3 alternative is less than 3 and so the p value it, it never changes the p value should be greater than alpha and alpha is i am defining at again 0 0.05 so only thing you have to remember is if the p value is greater than alpha you accept the null hypothesis if it is less than alpha you reject so the greater the p-value then we're very confident that whatever you are doing is right so proc t test takes three options um, first one is uh, let's define that data equal to work dot pull ups and h0 so you are saying what is the null hypothesis again it's 3 but it's greater than 3 right so uh, if it is greater than 3 alternative hypothesis is sides sides equal to we can it's see here it takes three values 2 l u uh, l and u means one sided 2 is double sided so whatever we did in univariate is uh, two sided which we are just checking only that uh, equality or unequality here we are checking going to check uh, we are checking upper so the alternative will be the lower l in short form is l and you can define alpha alpha equal to 0 0.05 so this alpha won't affect the p value at all this alpha will only um, going to say give us the confident limit i will show you in the result okay and the variable is here is time and run so i think this should pass Oh, unfortunately it failed so 
what uh, here I have told you this alpha is 0 0.05 since I have given is as 0 0.05 here the confident limit is like taken as 95 so if we give the value was uh, 10 means 0 0.10 then uh, the confident limit will be as 90 percentage but you can ignore all these things for t test only thing important is the t value and the um, p value t value should be closer to zero and p value should be uh, less than 0 0.05 sorry greater than 0 0.05 so then i will do the test for upper if alternative is upper alternative is upper this will be less as 0 is less than 3 so this should success or else the whatever test we did is uh, see the confidence it's very high probability is very very high it's closer to one actually it means uh, um, the maximum value will be one so it's very clear that i have done only less than three minutes of pull up as an average so here if you see the results it has given mean twice so what does that mean the first mean is uh, is a population mean which is nothing but uh, um, mean for the 60 data set here it will calculate only the sample uh, from that 60 data set it will take only a random sample of some n number of data and calculate mean for it so that's what a uh, confident limit says 95 percentage of the time my mean is going to be 1.7126 so i don't know it's in it's given as infinity but i'm not sure about this value and standard deviation again uh, uh, sample standard deviation and uh, sample standard deviation confident limit i am 95 percentage confident that my population standard deviation will be 1.5026 because in every time you won't get uh, the full data set uh, the full um, population so let's say i have done workout for air but it's not really likely to get the data for all the 12 months i will get like one or two or three months so from that i need to infer what would be the original mean from the sample data so that's what this says Thanks guys, thanks for watching this video.